Hello, mga kabero! It's nice to see you back here on my channel. And as promised, today we're going to discuss about budget planning and daanan na rin natin yung topic na wants versus needs. Alam nyo ako as a customer, when I am inquiring for something, kung magkano aabutin, I really hate getting answer na depende. Alam mo yun, gusto mo nalang malaman kung kasha ba yung dala mong pera, or kasha ba yung savings mo, or kung magkano ba yung dapat mong ihanda. So parang gusto mo nalang sana makakuha ng, um, ng exact figure, or kung hindi man exact figure, eh, ballpark man lang. ba diba? Parang nakaka-frustrate. Tapos pag tinanong ka naman ng, ng kausap mo, how much ba yung budget nyo po? Hindi mo rin maibigay kasi syempre parang feeling mo parang baka mamaya yung yung budget na ibibigay ko eh mas mataas dun sa kaya niyang i-work out. O kaya naman baka naman yung budget ko sobrang baba tapos ang taas pala nung, nung ilangan na budget. So parang nakakahiya naman. So parang tayo din mismo as a buyer parang nahihiya tayong magbigay ng budget natin. So yung supplier din naman kadalasan ang sagot na yan, ibibigay nila depende kasi depende naman talaga. Pero yun nga, personally, as a customer, ako ayoko talaga ng sagot na depende. Pero with my profession, with what I am doing as a wedding planner, when a bride is asking me, how much budget do I need to set for my wedding? Magkano pa talaga yung kailangan ko? Ayoko mang sumagot ng depende, pero ang sagot talaga dyan, eh depende. <laughs> Kasi yung mga couple, iba't iba yan ng uh, priorities, iba't iba yan ng standards, Iba't iba yan ang preference. Magkaiba-iba. Yung iba, Pilipiniana. Iba, Victorian. Um, sa bridal gown. Yung iba, gusto fully beaded. Yung iba, gusto plain lang. So, iba-iba talaga ng standards and priorities yan. Kaya, hindi ko pwedeng sagutin or mahirap, mahirapang sagutin ng kahit sino ang tanong na how much? How much budget do we need to set to get married? Yan naman kasi talaga yung pinakamalaking uh, Uh, usapin when planning a wedding regardless kung mayaman ka o mahirap ka ang pag-usapan talaga is yung budget um, yan din kasi yung pinaka foundation ng wedding planning and you are probably watching this video kasi yan din ang tanong ninyo magkano ba talaga ang kailangan ninyong iset na, na budget for your wedding so ganito na lang all together let's try to create a budget plan for four types of wedding number one the basic wedding Number two, the mid-range wedding. Number three, the upgraded wedding. Ayaw kong tawagin top of the line kasi baka isipin niyo parang kotse. So, number four, the high-end wedding. So, apat na um, level ng wedding yan. Apat, para sa apat na klase ng bride or couples. Okay, game na. Um, let's start creating a budget plan by dividing the wedding requirements into six major categories. Number one, the venue slash food slash beverages. Number two, memories. Number three, entertainment. Number four, attire. Number five, styling and planning expense. Number six, print and others. Ito yung major categories and meron yung mga subcategories pa. Amayan na natin ihimay-himayin kung ano yung mga under uh, the major categories. So, let's go first with the venue, food, and beverages category. Kasama dito yung um, church venue. Siyempre, may mga church na like yung INC, walang, wala silang fee for the church. Siyempre, kung uh, Christian wedding ka, it's a, garden, it's a garden wedding. So, minsan kasama na yung uh, kung saan yung reception mo, nandun na rin yung garden kung saan pwedeng gawin yung ceremony. So, dun magbabari yan. By the way, the budget plan that we are creating is based on Catholic wedding and for Metro Manila weddings. Yung mga out-of-town fees and yung mga savings, kagaya na nabanggit ko kanina, yung INC, wala ng church fee, you can use the savings for another requirement like yung uh, upgrade, ang dagdag ng ading, other wedding requirements, baga yung mga wants. So yun nga, Metro Manila weddings and uh, Catholic wedding. And then, yung mga adjustment like out-of-town fees and yung mga savings sa bandang huli na gagawin yon para ma-determine mo yung final budget plan mo. 
Okay, let's now go ahead uh, for the ceremony venue. We're going to allot 5,000 pesos for the basic, 10,000 for mid-range, 40,000 for upgraded, 80,000 for high-end. Itong mga figures na to, ito yung based on my knowledge. Yung 80,000, alam ko medyo nalula kayo, pero ito yung rate of the church, the one in BGC. Now, yung 40,000, merong 45,000, may 50,000, merong 35,000, pero I'm going to um, allot 40,000 pesos. Kumbaga, ito yung bracket ng mga upgraded na level. Now, for the mid-range, ito naman yung para sa bracket ng 8,000 to 12,000. And for 5,000, ito yung pinakmababang rate na alam ko ng isang church. So that's about church venue or um, ceremony venue rather. Now we go to the reception venue. 5,000 for the basic, 25,000 for the mid-range, 150,000 for the upgraded, and 200,000 for the high-end. So 200,000, ito yung mga level ng mga blue leaf, and then yung mga mid-range um, na 25,000, ito yung mga um, garden venues in Manila na hindi ganun ka popular. Yung 5,000 naman, ito yung mga venues inside a subdivision or yung mga clubhouse. Now, let's go to the caterer. 40,000, 70,000, 120,000, and 150,000. So, 40,000, sa ano ka nag-base? Yung mga caterer na nag-offer ng uh, lower than uh, 40, ng 400 pesos per head. By the way, ito palang budget na nakinikreate natin maliban sa Metro Manila and Catholic wedding eh, go at tayo yung good for 100 packs so going back 40,000 worth for the caterer uh, bakit 40,000? ito yung yung feeling ko na fit na working budget for a wedding alam mo yun hindi naman yung tipong magsaserve ka ng imbutido or ng minudo syempre may mga caterer dyan na mag-accept 220 pesos per head pero ba? parang medyo kabahan ka na kasi parang kumbaga parang two-piece chicken joy lang yun sa Jollibee eh. yung food na i-deliver nila isipin na lang natin kung ano yung possible na pwede nilang i-deliver uh, so para sa akin yung 400 pesos per head ito yung base dun sa isang caterer na nagsaserve ng uh, good food na hindi naman nakakahiyang i-serve for a special event like wedding. Walang problema if you're celebrating um, kids' birthday or baptismal or yung mga fiesta-fiesta, uh, ganyan, yung mga house party. You can go lower, like yung mga 350 pa baba, as low as 180 per head. Pero I just believe na lower than 400 pesos, hindi na siya nasa, uh, hindi na siya parang ganun ka parang good range for a uh, good quality uh, food service for wedding. So, followed by 700, ito yung mga medyo parang nasa mid-range na caterer na. And then, for the 1,200, so medyo nag-level up ka na ng caterer dyan. Hindi pa ako makabanggit ng mga brand or ng mga company name. But, if you will consult uh, to me uh, in the near future, private conversation, pwede yung magtanong sa akin. And, and then, I can answer. But, as of the moment, hindi ako makapagbanggit pa ng brand. Ng, ng, ano, ng uh, name, ng brand or ng company name. Ano naman yung 200,000? So, ito na yung medyo super special. So, again, ang hirap magbanggit ng name ng isang company, ng isang catering company na 2,000 per head. So, but this is a very good food. So, um, later on, mag-discuss pa tayo type of food serving, kagaya ng plated and buffet. Kasi mas mahal yung plated over the buffet. Next is cake. Uh, 3,000, 6,000, 10,000, and 20,000. So, ano naman yung 8,000, or oh, 3,500? 3,500, ito yung mga two-layered cake na maliliit lang. Alam mo you have to consider also the size of the cake. So, minsan kasi, ano eh, may mga magsasabi na parang, oh, yung mahal naman ng cake na yan, yung cake namin, ganito lang. Pero ang tanong, anong size? So, you have to consider that also. So, naglagay ako ng 3.5 for a 2-tier cake. And then, for mid-range, is uh, ito na yung mga fondant cake na mga 3-tier. Tapos, uh, yung uh, 10,000 and 20,000, ito na yung mga top-of-the-line na uh, 
mga baker or cake artist yung mga super personalized na super intricate yung mga detail and toppers and and all the details and yung flavor also ganyan by the way itong 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 figures na to um, bottom uh, layer lang yung edible kasi parang hindi naman masyadong practical kung gagawin mo lang all edible yung buong cake minsan nga hindi na nga siya nasa serve kasi you have desserts already so parang sa so, totoo lang, parang nagiging ang purpose na lang niya is for, parang expected, expected na siya uh, in a wedding. And, kumbaga, part na siya ng basic uh, requirement for a wedding. So, para, para, para sa akin, ang discard ko dito, para nakasave at hindi ganun ka um, ubusan ng budget, is bottom layer edible only. Meron pang iba dyan na nakakatipid ka, pero sa ibang part pa yan ng uh, vlog ko. Uh, in the discuss when I focus on certain topic that like example for the cake so for the meantime let's focus on budget planning or um, creating a budget plan okay next cocktails um, ito yung mga welcome treats or welcome drinks for the guests after attending your wedding ceremony kasi most likely nag start na sila mag prepare morning pa lang or sometimes yung iba nag, uh, nag skip na ng lunch ganyan or uh, nag-early lunch na. By the time na tapos na yung ceremony, let's say, yung, usually kasi ang wedding talaga, ideally 3 p.m. Eh, and then, uh, matatapos yan mga 4.30 and then, so talagang medyo nasa merienda mood na sila. Knowing Pinoy, five times tayong kumakain, diba? So, yung mga guests, malaki yung chance na after attending yung ceremony, magutom na sila. And it's a good idea to serve cocktails or welcome drinks. Bakit ba may cocktails? Kasi before naman, yung mga dating generation, wala naman silang mga ganyan. Pero today, bakit meron na? Kasi medyo iba na yung level ng mga photographer and videographer natin. So medyo iniinvesan na natin sila. Medyo mas mahal na. Before, photo video coverage, 3,500. Sold ka na. Pero ngayon, gusto mo ng magandang coverage, medyo mag i-invest ka doon. So, syempre, sobrang mahal nila ng mga photographer and videographer. Isa siya sa mga major requirement na yun. Um, ayaw natin siyang masayang. So, after this rem, nakaroon ng post-nap session. Ito yung mga nagpipicture yung couple. Uh, let's say, outside the church or somewhere before going to the uh, reception venue. Kasi syempre, bridal prep and groom's preparation, hindi sila nakikita eh. First time nila makita during the bridal march sa church. Uh, or the sa reception venue. So, ito lang yung chance nila na magkaroon ng picture together, yung portrait uh, or po post na. Ito yung mga artistically uh, done na mga post, ganyan, or yung mga shot. Uh, Siyempre, after the wedding, wala na kayong time kasi after party na yun, gabi na yun. So, this is the only time na pwede nilang gawin itong pictorial or yung post na. Ito yung portrait ninyo as a newlywed. While doing it, Yung, cop, yung, yung mga guests nagiintay parang nakakahiya kung magugutom sila so isa na rin siya ngayon sa kinukonsider na needs hindi lang siya wants kailangan na rin talaga ng cocktails kasi nga marami din akong mga brides or couples na nagsasabi na ang isa sa mga basis nila ng isang successful na event or na wedding is yung hindi nagutom yung mga yung mga guests bakit before wala namang ganun kasi nga after the ceremony yung mga yung generation ng parents natin they go they go directly doon sa reception venue nakaabang sila sa pintuan kakamayan na nila yung guests and then after makapasok ng mga guests start na agad ng, ng program prayer and then they can have their dinner na so ganun kabilis pero ngayon meron talagang mga uh, mga one hour waiting time mga to one and a half hour waiting time sa cocktail cocktail hour. So, medyo importante itong uh, welcome treats or welcome drinks or call, let's call it cocktails. So, 5,000. So, ito yung medyo mag-request mag, mag, mag ka ng mga pika-pika na ang tawag na nila nung iba or ito yung mga parang mga bread with cheese on, cheese toppings, ganyan. And nag-evolve na rin siya. So, meron na tayong mga grazing table. Yung iba dyan, may idea ng mga uh, bibingka station, may mga taho or may mga ice cream cart so nagdadagdag lang tayo ng, ng budget, kaya nilagay ko yung cocktails yung iba 10,000 um, yung upgraded 20,000 and then yung high end is 30, 35,000 kasi yung 35,000 yun talaga yung ano eh, yun talaga yung price range ng isang grazing table na talagang 
may value yung mga laman. Kasi ang dami dyan, raising table, pero ang laman, mga marshmallow, ganyan, or yung mga uh, waffle stick, okay lang naman din yun. Kasi nga, kung nagtitipid tayo, syempre may mga bracket nga tayo na tinatawag. So, you can go 20,000 for the upgraded, para may mga chocolate fountain ka, or may donut wall ka. For the mid-range, yung 10,000 mo, pwedeng magkaroon ka na ng mga uh, uh, mga canapes, Uh, and then yung 5,000 mga small bar small bars lang. So yun, basically sumasabay syempre yung laman ng uh, laman ng uh, ka, ng cocktail mo based on your working budget. Pero syempre, hindi naman tayo pwedeng maglagay na, ng 35,000 working budget for the uh, basic wedding. Kasi nga yung, so, yung basic wedding medyo nagtitipid tayo dyan. Yung high end, yun yung yun yung, yung cost ng wedding na talagang parang parang o parang tinatawag natin na parang oy masyado namang mahal yan. Usually mid-range talaga yung pinaka uh, working budget ng mga tao or the upgraded. Pero yun nga, meron pa rin akong sinet na basic, uh, nagtitipid, pero hindi naman to the point na uh, yung sobrang uh, lowest low. I don't know, hindi ko masabi masyado, pero... Um, personally, I still have my standards as uh, as a planner. So, parang uh, yung basic, ito na yung pinaka parang pinaka, ito na yung parang pinaka tipid for me. Okay, next, um, crew meals. Sabi nga nila, happy suppliers makes happy couple. Ito yung madalas na nakakaligtaan ng mga couples when working on their uh, wedding budget. Um, Siyempre, ayaw mo naman ng malabong kuha ng photo and video dahil sobrang nagutom yung mga supplier mo o yung photographer, videographer mo. So, you have to feed them. Mayroon kang mga supplier na 12 midnight pala, uh, start na silang mag-set up ng LED wall mo, ganyan, or 6am pa lang, nag-aaring siya ng flowers, 9 o'clock pa lang, minimake-upan ka na. So, you have to feed them. So, may ibang supplier na bibigyan mo ng breakfast, Uh, meron bibigyan mo ng uh, lunch and of course, you have to feed them dinner huwag mong gutumin yung mga suppliers mo this is very very important syempre, habang dumalaki yung wedding mo dumala dumadami yung suppliers mo lumalaki din yung working budget mo for the crew meal maglalagay lang ako ng 5,000 for the basic 7,500 for the mid-range for the upgraded, 10,000 and for the high end, it's 15,000 medyo mura na yan if you will message me I can provide you uh, with a breakdown Or ito na, ipapakita ko sa inyo yung sample breakdown. Okay, next major category is memory photo. So, maglagay tayo ng 10, 20, 40, and 125,000 for the high end. For the basic, uh, photographer and videographer tag 10,000. So, 20,000. Medyo ito na yung parang uh, kahit pa paano, hindi pa rin siya ganun ka um, pumapasa sa standard ng karamihan. Pero sa nagtitipid, at least they have a good, decent photographer and videographer or good coverage for their wedding. Upgrade mo na yan. So, meron kang 40,000 for the mid-range wedding. Medyo yung iba may kasama ng uh, print-up shoot or yung iba naman gusto na ng merong save the date video or on-site video. Yun naman yun naman nasa upgraded. Now, if you will... Upgrade that uh, figure, pwede ka magkaroon ng 40,000 for the photographer and videographer. Kung mapapansin niyo yung figure na ginawa natin, parang lagi silang magkaparehas lang yung sa basic and mid-range. Kasi usually hindi ka makakakuha ng separate na photographer and separate na videographer ng ganyan kababang uh, working budget. So mas maganda na if that is your working budget, yung photographer... Uh, slash videographer na sila. Kung baga, uh, two-in-one na siya. So, yun yung lagay natin sa basic and mid-range. Uh, 20,000 and then 40,000. And possibly, may kasama na siyang pin-up shoot. Kasama na rin siyang mga save video kung suswerte-swertehin tayo. Um, okay, next is the, um, the upgraded 60,000, 40,000. Um, ito yung ano um, magka, magkaiba yung yung supplier mo for the photographer and magkaiba iba sa supplier mo for your videographer. Kumbaga, ang maganda sa kanila um, specialty talaga nila yung gagawin nila. Kung when you hire them for photo, photo lang sila naka-focus because that is the, their um, specialty. Medyo upgraded na yan, medyo uh, parang uh, cinematic quality na siya. Kumbaga sa 
kumbaga sa damit, hindi siya branded pero kasing ganda na siya. Kasing ganda na siya ng mga branded na damit. Or sa mga gown, hindi siya sikat na designer pero magaling siyang mananahe. So parang ganun yung, yung level ng 60,000 for video and 40,000 per photo or combined 100,000. Maghati na lang sa, sa working budget of 100,000. Basta yun yung working budget mo for photo and video. And then, yung super high end naman, uh, 125, sometimes they go Uh, as high as 200,000, 150,000 uh, both for photo and video so dalawang 125,000 dun na tayo mag base uh, that's 250,000 uh, medyo nakakalula sa iba pero syempre yung pagka premium um, hindi mo makikita uh, sa iba yung, yung quality ng gawa nila kumbaga sobrang ganda although meron din namang sobrang mga sikat na photographer and videographer ang mamahal ng rate nila pero maiko-compare mo yung talent nila dun sa supplier na nasa level ng upgraded na working budget natin which is uh, 100,000 so pero syempre meron ding top of the line na sobrang mahal pero talagang ramdam mo yung binayaran mo so 125,000 medyo mababa pa yan kasi nga again meron 135,000 photo pa lang tapos another 150,000 for video pa lang or 165,000 wala pa siyang wala pa siyang prenup shoot so on top pa siya so talagang sobrang mahal pero ayun nga i-base lang natin siya sa tag 125,000 125 photo 125 video um, but if you will ask me ang pinakamagandang working budget for a photographer videographer talaga is itong nasa upgraded Uh, 100,000 combi- combination of good photographer and good videographer. Yung 20,000 naman, uh, kahit pa paano, nagtipid ka, you have a decent coverage. Flipbook or photo booth part ng memories. Ano yung flipbook? Ito yung parang uh, parang mini book na parang basically it's like photo booth pero the guest uh, will move, parang kinakapture siya into video tapos ito print siya and it becomes like a souvenir. So parang pwede mo na siya maging uh, photo booth slash uh, souvenir. Kung nagtitipid tayo uh, for the basic wedding, um, let's get the basic photo booth. Pwede tayong magtipid, pwedeng 2 hours lang yung tunin mo. Now, if you want to extend to 4 hours para the entire wedding celebration, wedding uh, reception, tumatakbo sila. So, yun yung 5,000 for the mid-range and for the upgraded is 13,000. Ayan, ayan na yung, nandiyan na yung price ng flipbook. And then, sa high-end, ilalagay ko pa rin 13,000 pero meron pa tayong mga uh, camera 360, meron pa tayong mga glam boot uh, that would go as high as 60,000, 80,000 plus. So, next is um, the prenup shoot. So, under the prenup shoot, uh, merong uh, make-up, merong meals, um, merong uh, wardrobe, and of course, um, the venue. So, yung ilagay natin sa 3,500 for the prenup, ito yung mga tipit-tibita na venue sa pwede kang pagpunta sa Echo Park, ganyan. Tapos, uh, since mura lang yung package mo ng photo-video, baka wala na siyang videographer, baka photo na lang siya. Mamahal yung venue mo. Habang nagmamahal yung makeup artist mo, tumataas din yung budget mo. So, bakit 60,000? Yung 60,000 is ito ang breakdown. So, yung 60,000, kagaya kanina, sabi ko, wala pang, wala pang um, prenup shoot for the photo and wala pang prenup shoot for the video. So, on top pa siya. So, lagyan mo ng figure for that. Let's say, 20,000 for the prenup video. And then, for the prenup photo is 10,000. And then, 30,000 para naman sa 10,000 na venue. And then, the 20,000 will be divided for the uh, makeup artist, for the meal, and attire. Um, again, magkakaroon ako ng separate na uh, discussion about about prenup para mas maintindihan ninyo ito. That's it for now. Um, I will have a part 2 for this kasi medyo mahaba na. Let's take a break. Thank you.